Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Twenty-nine-yard line. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Brings up second and seven. At the on second and seven, Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Jack took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Third down and seven. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. From the gun, Jackson. That's complete to Cobb. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Two-yard line. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Oh, he'll take a shot from McCann. That's caught inside the 20. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. And they rattle off a big one. 43 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again to Henry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. From 10 yards out. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A first carry now for Thompson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Second and 11 at the 23-yard line. Here's Haskins out of the gun. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Haskins to throw it. Complete. It's Johnson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Had some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. For a Seahawks. So first and 10 now from the 30. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. With the score, our home team seven. Visitors nothing. down. It's Thompson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of a rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the gun, it's Haskins. Throw left side complete. It's Ford. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Well, brings up third and less than a yard. He 
can run for it, and he will. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Taking it in from the 20. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Warwasser for the extra point. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week. But here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did. And it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. Here you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. At their own 24-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were... Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! Touchdown! And his guys have taken the lead. Lining up for the point after. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise. Because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Bernardrick McKinney muscled his way in for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Taking it about the 36. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? That's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawks defense. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again. Jackson, complete the tight end, Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. So here we go, 
now the offense is going to stay out there. They're going for it on fourth and eight. This time, Jackson will throw it. This is Johnson. He's got it. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Our home team, 14. Visitors, 7. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. With all the specialization we have in this great game, at some point the head coach is going to take charge of every group. And I think at halftime, he spent a little time with the special teams coach said, look, you've got to find a way to get us a big play to help us get back into this. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Nothing here. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. He's going to take off with it. Space to maneuver at the 40. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Now, let's be frank, you hate the fumble at the end of the play, but prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of it. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Andre Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the fumble recovery leads to six points. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A gain of three, second down. by Leonard Williams. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second, and they'll stay on the ground with Swift. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. DeAndre Swift, the ball carrier. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A gain of two. Brings up third and five. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? Able to power through. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. 
it certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, but you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They throw again on second down. This one's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Visitors 7. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And it's caught by Ed McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They run on first down with Henry, but the hole evaporates quickly as he'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Second and 10. On second down, Jackson flush to his right. He finds his man, Johnson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. From the three, second and a yard. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. They set up the screen for Henry. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. From three yards out. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Haskins back to the air. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. His intended receiver, the tight end, Caleb Wilson, and it's third and four. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins, he gets this one to Johnson. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. From 19 yards away. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But... This one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. 
So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. Oh, I think the Seahawks got it. They did. It's Seattle football. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. His throw incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game. Instead, fourth down. Incomplete. It's now fourth down. Fourth down. Here's Haskins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Haskins going to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Again. Haskins. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, it depends.